Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about this question, which is the proof tangent a over 2 equals to 1 minus cos a over sine a. This is one of the SBM MF question this year for paper 2. So, yeah, before I start to discuss about this question, first I want to apologize to most of my YouTube subscribers because I do tell you guys a few times in my live streaming to say that uh, tangent half angle will never come out in SBM exam and end up it's come out and then the second thing I want to apologize over here is um, when I first saw this question I solved this question by doing the by using the tangent half angle formula and then I get the other side and then I do teach about STPM and I know that the tangent half angle formula you 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 will only learn when you go to STPM and then when I got the answer, my first thought is, this one should be the STPM question. How come the STPM question will come out in SBM exam? So I'm so frustrated and then I make a post in my Facebook page. And then eventually a lot of you actually help me to share the page. And then the page will go already go viral. Even the, the Star newspaper reporter also come to ask me about my opinion about 2019 SBM exam. Yes, I do feel this year exam is very hard. Maybe it's one of the hardest uh, compared to the last few years. So, so yeah, so yeah, so that time I actually think that yes, this is an STPM question. But what I want to apologize here is, yeah, eventually a lot of experienced teacher or some university student or even some very smart SPM student tell me that this one actually is the SPM question because you can solve this question by doing the double angle. And then some student even show me your textbook and then one of the page inside your textbook actually have a very similar question almost the same so yes so yeah and I'm, i realized that i actually make the wrong statement because yes this one basically can solve solve it by using the double angle formula but over here i'm going to show you two different methods one is my first method why i think it's a stpm question and then I will show you the second method which is using your methods which is double angle to solve it. So I hope this video actually benefit uh, no matter you are SPM or STPM student to understand and you know, you will know how to do this, this kind of questions. Okay, so let's start. So yeah, when I first see the tangent A over 2, so my first thought is okay, tangent A over 2 equals to 1 minus cos A over 1 plus cos A. Alright, and then in order to get this side, basically I start from my left hand side, okay? So in order to get this one, so my first idea is, okay, maybe I will multiply 1 minus cos A for both. So I multiply the numerator, I will multiply for denominator. Okay, why I want to multiply? Because I want to eliminate the square root. So I must have the something square inside the bracket. So therefore, this one I will get 1 minus cos a square and over a plus b multiply a minus b what, what do I get? I actually get a square minus 1 square is still 1 alright cos square a alright then this one I will have 1 minus cos a square over sine square a because, because sine square plus cos square equals to 1 so therefore Therefore, sine square equals to 1 minus cos square. So I see 1 minus cos square, I sub in the sine square into here. And then you, you should understand when you see sine square a, it's actually same meaning with sine a square. They are the same thing, isn't it? So therefore, over here, because I have square root for both, isn't it? Square and square root, I can cancel out. So therefore, my final one, I get 1 minus cos a over sine a. Then I will say proven. So this is my first thought when I see this question. And then I'm like so, so angry that because student doesn't learn about this formula, how can examiner come out a question like this, which is not possible for student to solve. After that, yeah, a lot of experienced teacher and smart student actually share me, uh, share me the other method. And I should, I should already thought about that method but I'm not sure why at that moment I never think about that because what the sine a over 2 
we can do, I mean tangent A over 2, we can do sine half A over cos half A, isn't it? Because we know tangent equals to sine over cos. So therefore, therefore, if I can get this one, I can get sine A over 2 over cos A over 2, then I can get tangent A over 2. So in order to get sine half A over cos half A, I have to start from the right hand side. So if I start from the right hand side, right, I have 1 minus cos A over sine A. Alright, from here, I, I need to sub in my cos A and sine A from my double angle over here, the double angle formula. The double angle for cos 2x is quite easy because you only have one of it, you have you no need to choose. But for cos 2x over here, in order to make your expression easier, you basically you must choose 1 minus 2 sine square x. Why you want why you want to choose this one? Because over here you have 1 minus. Because I want to eliminate the 1 here, so I, I will choose the one with positive 1. You have another one which is the 2 cos square x minus 1. If you sub in that formula into here, you have minus negative 1, you have a 2 here, which is not what I want. So I will choose this formula for cos 2x and then yeah, sine 2x is only have this one. So what I will do over here is, okay, so I will let my x equals to a over 2 for both, for first one and the second one. And then I will sub into all my x, uh, uh, at, uh, I will sub into all the x at this, at this formula, right? So inside this formula, yeah, suddenly stuck about, don't know what words to use. So this is a over 2 equals to 2 sine a over 2 cos a over 2. Yeah, I hope my camera can actually record all my writing or else you just listen to my voice so cos a over 2 then I sub then I will sub the a over 2 into all the x here with only one x here so it will be 1 minus 2 sine square a over 2 all right this is 2 all right all right then you can see if after I simplify here I left a cos a and after I simplify like this I actually get a sine a so right now, I already have my sine A and my cos A, then I can substitute my sine A and cos A into my formula over here. So therefore, 1 minus cos A. My cos A is 1 minus 2 sine square A over 2. Over my sine A is 2 sine A over 2 cos A over 2. Alright, so if you see carefully this expression over here, if I multiply, I mean I expand this bracket, I multiply the negative into the both here, you should be able to see this is minus 1 plus 2 sine square a over 2, isn't it? After I open up the bracket. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. Then I, I literally left a 2 sine square a over 2. And you should also know 2 sine square a over 2 actually equals to 2 multiply sine a over 2 square, doesn't it? Alright, so from here, 2 and 2 I will simplify. I have sine a over 2 power 2, isn't it? So I have double of it, I can cut one of it, I still have one. So right now I have sine a over 2 over cos a over 2. Then I know this one is the tangent a over 2. Then I will say proven. Right, this is what you should do in SPM. Actually, I would say this is quite a lot of work for the three mark questions. But yes, this is how you should do it in the SPM. And yeah, let me just say sorry again, one more time because I actually a little bit guilty because I actually say the tangent half angle will never come out in SPM and eventually it's come out and, and maybe I mix quite a lot with you actually lost the trademark. Anyways, um, yeah, so I will remember this mistake and then I will make sure it will never happen again in my YouTube channel. Anyways, thanks for supporting my YouTube channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.